That's right, Luann. That most recent crash wasn't the first time. There have been three in the exact same spot since SunRail started in 2014. We went to FDOT to ask about safety at that intersection. Skyfox flew above the deadly accident on Monday. It shows a truck almost detached from its bed. The truck's driver died after state troopers say they were trying to make a right turn driving onto those train tracks. FHP says the signal lights were on and the gate arms were down. And just a few months ago in September, we were on the scene of another crash in that exact same spot. FDOT says it's the, the first train crash happened there in June of 2015, but only the most recent one was deadly. The agency told us there are warning signals and a no right turn sign, but a business owner right by the intersect told us he witnessed the past two crashes and thinks more needs to be done. I also went to City Hall and, you know, I, I, I told the a uh, mayor of city to stop by at this location because this open, you know, and we have like school kids walking by and there is no fence. An FDOT spokesperson told me SunRail has done several safety assessments there over the years. One started just last week. We asked for the results, but they say the most recent one isn't done yet and they have not shared the other ones with us yet. Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.